This training level will introduce to you- Yeah? Shut the fuck up. Hey guys, and welcome back for the last time to Hitman Blood Money. I have completed almost every single mission in Blood Money, and it just didn't feel right to move on from the game without completing every single mission. So here we are at an abandoned amusement park, and we're here to pay a very murderous visit to this cockhead, Joseph Clarence, aka Mr. Swing King. So, without further ado, let's get to it! What the fuck you looking at, Crackett? I'm here to see Joseph Clarence. Never heard of Mr. Swing King. Oh, that <laughs> sorry ass dickhead. What the fuck they call you? Names of a friends, so I don't need one. Come here, <laughs> dickhead. Why don't you have a closer look at this gate? <laughs> Sweet dreams, you inquisitive cunt. So now we'll make our way into the gift shop, equip a mighty coin, and throw it out the window to distract the guards outside. Oh man, that sounded like a coin! Finders keepers! Now it is here that the game is instructing us to enter the theatre, but before we do that, we're going to grab the TMP hidden in the rubble to the left of the gift shop. To do this, we'll need to distract the guards a second time. So we'll wait for them to get back to where they were standing originally, and... Oh shit, another coin! Diobs! Not if I find it first! Hey, that's not fair! Your coin collection is already twice the size of mine! So now with the guards' attention on the coin, we'll grab the gun and head into the theatre. Here we are presented with a gangster about to set a blindfolded lawyer on fire. Now, there are two ways that we can proceed. The first is to follow the game's instruction and strangle the twisted cunt. You are so dead. Cause I'm about to set you on fire and you're gonna- <laughs> Help! Help me! Help! Help me! Uh, no. <laughs> Alternatively, if we were trying to be as stealthy as possible, here's how we would approach the situation. Yes, motherfucker, I'm about to burn you alive. I hope you're ready because I'm about to get- Oh, a coin! My secret passion. This is so exciting, I can't wait till I find it. Hey, what the fuck? I command you to let go of me! We will now be careful to walk around the lawyer and evade his line of sight because blindfolded or not, he will still count as a witness. After we've climbed up the trellis and jumped the gap, we are faced with a room containing two gangsters doing drugs. It is here that the game asks us to clear the room. And look, a shotgun. G'day, you cocaine-snorting cunts. Oh shit, it's Agent 40. Bang! Don't you guys understand that drugs can kill? <laughs> Fucking clear. However, a slightly sneakier approach to this situation would be to grab the shotgun and place it near the balcony. Then, get as close to the wall nearest the door as possible and... Oh, did I hear a coin out here? What the? Who leaves a shotgun so close to a ledge? Hey! Whoa! Ah! I fucking do. Now we gotta remember that there is still another gangster in the room. So how do we deal with him? Oh, I think there's a coin at the door. Hey, you're not meant to be here. Oh, hey, look at that. A shotgun. I'm gonna make picking that up my immediate priority. Far more important than finding out why that bald man was hiding behind the- Dang! Ah! And now with the room cleared, we'll hop into this cupboard and prepare ourselves for yet another guest. What the fuck happened here? Let me give you a demonstration, you nosy cunt. Bang! <laughs> Just kidding. What in the name of God is going on in here? Hmm, there's no one around and all this money on the table. I think I'll steal it. Oh boy, I'm rich. I'm wealthy. Nothing could possibly ruin this moment. G'day! Shit, something ruined the moment! Oh. And now we'll temporarily take his clothes and dispose of him. Now with that cunty chemist out of the way, we'll take his keycard and proceed to the atrium. Here we'll follow the walkway until we reach the first room, in which we'll place our TMP into the baking soda crate and move on. Of course, walking to maintain our disguise. Gotta check you, white bread. Ugh, how fucking racist. Alright, you cool. Having gotten past this dickhead, we'll enter the room, drop the crate, and retrieve our gun. We'll then open the door and lure the bastard inside. Hmm, that bald guy wasn't the same chemist as before. 
Maybe I should do something about that. <gasps> a coin! I'm gonna go get it! Find a penny, pick it up, and for all day long you have- <laughs> Incorrect! Nah, we don't kill him. We'll just knock him the fuck out. Now we'll head back out into the atrium and return to the room that we cleared earlier. Here we'll get back into our suit and lure the gangster on the walkway into the room. Yoo-hoo! Hey, you're not allowed here! I'm coming to get you! Hey, where'd you go? Here I am! Maybe next time you won't be so fucking stupid! And now we'll grab this kitchen knife, head back to the atrium and proceed. But before we move on, we'll dispose of that gangster the same way we disposed of the other two gangsters in that room. Mm. Have you ever had one of those dreams where you're falling off a- Hey, what the- ah! And now with that guard out of the way, we can head back into the atrium, proceed along the walkway and get going. Hey, you're not allowed in- Shut up, cunt. You can't even get to me anyway. Damn, he's got a point. Now this next room has a broken elevator in it that has a gangster inside trying to fix it. So clearly the obvious thing to do here is... God damn this elevator. At this rate, by the time it's fixed, I'll be dead and- <laughs> <laughs> However, because we're trying to be as discreet as possible, we're going to try and sneak past him. Now, just to warn you, this part is hard. And I don't mean a little bit tricky, I mean fucking hard. But nevertheless, let's give it a go. Okay, let's start by seeing if we can get it in one go. Fuck! Okay, how about on the second try? Shit. Fuck! Third time's the charm? Shit. Fuck! 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 Okay, lucky number 73. Come on. Oh, I'm behind him. Now just to quickly throw a coin and... Ooh, a rare coin! Yes! Finally! Now don't you dare turn around. So now we'll simply break the fuse box and sneak through the factory. Now with this part, we could quietly sneak through the factory, or we could shoot one of the gas cylinders and blow everyone... Sky! Fucking... But that's not very stealthy now, is it? So we actually are going to sneak through this factory, remaining undetected. But before we move on, we're gonna have to take care of something. What is it? Well, wait for it. That. Fucking stupid bitches. Now, before we can proceed, we're going to need to drag these unconscious bodies around the corner and out of sight. Why? Because when the gangsters switch the lights back on and see these unconscious women, it will have a direct impact on our performance rating for the mission. And since we're trying to be as stealthy as possible, we don't want that to happen. So now with both of these unconscious women around the corner and out of sight, we'll head through this door and into the bathroom. Here we are faced with a guard taking a piss and three guards in the adjacent room. If we were following the game's instructions, here's how we would approach the situation. Ah, uh, this feels good. I've been holding this in all- <laughs> Surprise, pin dick. Let's take a walk. Holy <laughs> shit! Hi! Let him- <laughs> FUCKING CLEAN! Okay, you've cleared the room now. Let me- GREAT! <laughs> but remember, we're trying to do this mission as stealthily as we can. Therefore, the approach that we're going to take here is a little bit different. We'll start by taking the pissing gangster as a human shield, dragging him back out of the toilet and knocking him out. I hope I didn't make you piss on your shoes, cunt! Now that he's out of the way, we'll head back into the bathroom and then throw our TMP into the corner. We'll then immediately pick up the other TMP, prepare ourselves, and... Hmm, hey guys, did either of you leave a gun in the bathroom? I what the? Hey guys, help, help! Did you hear that, Frank? No! Me neither. Man, I really wish I had peripheral vision. Me too! Stupid, oblivious dickheads. Now we'll take his weapons, head back into the bathroom, and focus our attention on the remaining two gangsters. We'll equip our TMP again, drop it in the hallway, and then get the gangsters' attention by throwing yet another coin. Oh hey, a coin! Oh look, a weapon! When he picks up the gun and turns his back, we'll grab the bastard, drag him back into the bathroom, and knock him out! Now of course, we'll take back our gun, as well as any ammunition we can get our hands on. For the last gangster, we'll enter the room, drop the gun on the floor, and hide behind the nearby lockers. And because the noise of a weapon being dropped on the ground wasn't enough to get this idiot's attention, we'll use the one item that every guard in this game seems to want. Of course, when he gets up to look around, we'll subdue him and move on. Now we'll climb this ladder, grab the sniper out of this briefcase, and start looking out of this opening. 
It is here that the game asks us to snipe the three guards outside to prevent them from becoming an issue. How do I get down? Oh, I know. I'll just... And now just one more dickhead to shoot. Ah, today's such a beautiful... <laughs> Seems simple enough, doesn't it? However, keeping the body count to a minimum for the sake of stealth requires us to leave them alive. So we'll start by shooting near, but not hitting the two guards on the higher structures. This will actually make them turn around. Next, we'll exit out of this door, drop onto the ground, and subdue the third patrolling guard. And now we can make our way safely to the office. Right, so we're in the office and we're nearing our target. So what are we waiting for? Let's go get him! Hi. Is that an unconscious guard down- <laughs> You tell me, cunt. Right, now where's the fucking swing king? Get out the way, bitch! <laughs> okay, so maybe blowing away the receptionist wasn't all that subtle. In fact, the game actually encourages a stealthier approach by telling you to grab the poison syringe from downstairs and using it to poison her drink while she's not paying attention. Once the trap's been set, we'll hide in the closet and wait for her to take her last sip. I wonder what she's drinking anyway. Maybe it's a bottle of- I need water. God damn it! Shut the fuck up, Bear Grylls! What is with you and your insatiable thirst for water? Fuck! Yeah. But... Ah! Nothing beats the refreshing taste of... Oh. <coughs> oh. <coughs> But sadly, killing the receptionist with the poison, as well as pushing the gangster out of the window, will have a negative impact on our stealth rating. So ultimately, the avenue that we'll take today will be to take the gangster as a human shield and throw him over the nearby rail. Hey, what are you doing? Oh no, I'm allergic to wooden rails. Just one touch and I'll- <coughs> And now that he's taken care of, we'll repeat the process with the receptionist. <coughs> And now that they've both been taken care of, it's time to pay a visit to good old Joseph. Who the hell are you? How'd you get in here? Carol Ann! My client has hired me to show you this photograph. I don't understand. My client has asked me to ensure it's the last thing you ever see. Please, look at the photograph, Mr. Clarence. No. Please. Haven't I suffered enough? Ah, uh, no? <laughs> And now you've suffered enough. And now, ladies and gentlemen, with the Swing King well and truly dead, we'll simply climb out the window. We'll grab the remote mine and detonator, which we shouldn't have used before, continue along the balcony, and climb through this window. Now, the exit door is just downstairs, but there just so happens to be some armed resistance standing in our way. So, how can we get past? I know. Fucking catch! Hey! Who threw that explosive device? That could have blown us all sky fucking- <laughs> No, we'll actually place the mine over here, get to a safe distance, and detonate it. The explosion will cause the guards to run upstairs and investigate, giving us the opportunity to race down the stairs and make a hasty exit. And now the moment of truth. How did our stealthy approach fare? Ah, oh, professional. Not too shabby. It's not Silent Assassin. But it'll do. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed the final episode of Let's Play Hitman Blood Money. It's been a fuckload of fun. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please hit that thumbs up button. It does mean a lot. And I'll see you next time.